This next video is one that you weren't super enthused about when you saw the first cut. Brianna. Yes. I found this really interesting that somebody's not just collecting because of their love of collecting, but that they are actually collecting history in their love of collecting. So that really spoke to me, and I, I saw collections at New Life. Well, I had this re-edited, and well, take a look. Tell me what you think now. All right. <laughs> John Waters film. You were? Yes. Which one? Uh, Desperate Living. Okay. I... I'm, the, I'm the police officer. You are? Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to go back and rewatch well, that. You, you, it's, it's in about the first 10 minutes and you will okay. not believe it's me. <laughs> because I wear ladies underwear. I have ladies underwear, hose, and garter belt. And I take off my pants and make these women take their pants off and I put their pants on. When I was a kid and I was much, much thinner. Uh, I have a big nose, I have a long neck, and no chin. That's why I have a beard. And I look like a turkey. They, they <laughs> called me Turkey Neck. And I hated the name, so after a while, people just called me Turkey Joe. And it sucked. I've, I've had it for 40 years. Oh, not, not very many nicknames last that long. Bought a bar in Fells Point, and I had to come up with a name. And I decided I'm going to call it Turkey Turkey Joe's. And that's where I started collecting beer cans. And that's why we're here talking to you today, is you have quite an extensive collection of beer cans, beer paraphernalia, glasses. Buriana. Buriana, thank you. And, and <laughs> <laughs> see, you know the official term. And, and it seems to me that there's a lot of collectors of very different objects mm -hmm. out there with these collections people are really preserving history mm -hmm. and it, it seems like there's a, a story that that all of these collections tell mm -hmm. so can i take a look at your collection sure excellent thank you well so. first of all let me tell you how i got into the into the can business okay I had a bar in Fells Point that opened in 1972, and there was a beer uh, salesman, they're called drummers, a beer drummer, who wanted me to buy a product from him. And so, what are you going to do me? And he gave me these two cans. It's a National and a Gunther can. Okay. And I put them up, and a man came in and said he would like to get two of the, of the four. And I said, what do you give me for it? And he said, a hundred beer cans. Wow. And that's what he gave me, and that's what got me started in the beer can business. I built some shelves and put them up there. And the deal was, if you could bring me a beer can that I didn't have, I'd give you a free draft, not a drink, <laughs> a free draft. So that's how I got into this. I belong to a club called the Beer Can Collectors, and I'm number 3417, and it's up to 10,000. Baltimore had about five or six different breweries. The first one, of course, everybody knows National. And then there was a Gunther. And uh, Gunther was the largest selling beer up until after World War II, even up till 1950, when National brought out Mr. Bo. Huh. And Mr. Bo really caught the kids. They really liked the Mr. Bo. And so they they started drinking national which everybody still knows today mm -hmm. at least if, if if you're in Baltimore <laughs> what would happen if you sold this beer and then a keg of beer went up five dollars you didn't want to charge somebody a penny more so you would get a smaller glass this is called a growler Colt 45 glass Mr. Pilsner Tuborg uh, Arrow beer Gunther American Free State and on the side of the beer can it shows you how to open it. You buy this, you put it in your refrigerator, you put the little pump on, so it's a chaser. This is the National Bow Skipjack. For Shriner beer in Texas, this is a shell glass. Beer can collectors like to collect them with the top on, so they open them from the bottom. There's different types of cans, flat top, cone top, an extruded can, a three-piece can. National Bow came out with a 007 can 
this is probably worth three hundred dollars. Wow! Here. And do you know when? About when they started adding the uh, flip top property? Oh, so I do, Frank. What the hell? Are, <laughs> I mean, I'm an authority on beer cans. Well, that's why. 1963. 1963. Bach beer came out in February every year. What happens is they would just take beer and add more malt and more hops in it to make it stronger, because in the old days the monks during Lent. Uh, only lived on beer. They made the beer, so they would make it very strong. So it was like eating bread. It was like eating a meal. What was what has been your favorite beer to, to drink? Just out of curiosity. Guinness. You can't get drunk on Guinness. You fall asleep before you get drunk. <laughs> You'll be sitting there all of a sudden. And you're like this. <laughs> it's a nice hearty drink. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much for talking with us. Mm -hmm. That was an amazing collection, and and I'm glad we. What got is to the drink. what is it called? The collection of beer stuff. Frank Bruriana. 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 I knew I was going to screw it up, and that's why I just didn't want to say it. <laughs> oh, I was learned so much that it's just all trying to fit in there. So. Well, it's good for you. Yeah, yeah, and I'm glad I got to sh we got to show it to everybody. I think this video is the perfect example of the individual making the history interesting. I was really impressed by this last edit because when I first saw that thing, it was a dull history lesson and I just didn't like it. I don't like trinkets, I don't like collecting, um, but having watched this one, his personality came across, he was a legitimate Fells Point character. He seemed like he fit in with everything else and I, I see why you like him. And that's really what's drawing me into this history is the people, the passions that they have and I love it. I'm want to hang out and buy this guy a beer and just talk with him all day. Well, let's take a quick break because after the next group of videos, I really have to talk to you about something serious. Okay. All right.